Hey there. I recently had the opportunity to try some Tunisian cuisine, and I must say, it was a delightful experience. The flavors, the spices, and the variety of dishes were simply amazing. Have you ever tried Tunisian food? Oh, absolutely. Tunisian cuisine is a treasure trove of culinary delights. I love how it incorporates a blend of Mediterranean, Arabic, and Berber influences, creating a unique and flavorful food culture. What dishes did you try, and what stood out to you the most? I tried several dishes, but one that really stood out was couscous. The way Tunisians prepare couscous is unlike any other I've had before. It was so light and fluffy, and the combination of tender meat, chickpeas, and vegetables in a rich and fragrant broth was heavenly. The use of traditional spices like cumin, coriander, and cinnamon added a depth of flavor that was truly exceptional. Couscous is indeed a staple in Tunisian cuisine and is often considered the national dish. The meticulous preparation and the attention to detail are what make Tunisian couscous so special. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Another dish I love is brick. It's a popular Tunisian street food made of thin pastry filled with egg, tuna, capers, and parsley, deep fried to perfection. The crispy exterior and the savory, flavorful filling make it a delightful treat. Oh, I remember trying brick as well. It was incredibly crispy on the outside, and the combination of flavors inside was mouth watering. It's amazing how Tunisian cuisine manages to balance textures and tastes so well. Speaking of street food, I also tried merguez, which are spicy lamb sausages grilled in often served in a baguette. The spiciness and juiciness of merguez were absolutely addictive. Merguez sausages are a carnivore's delight, aren't they? The spiciness adds a kick that sets them apart. And you're right about the balance. Tunisian cuisine is all about the harmony of flavors and textures. Have you tried harira? It's a hearty soup often served during Ramadan and special occasions. Made with tomatoes, lentils, chickpeas, and a mix of fresh herbs and spices, it's both nutritious and delicious. Yes, I did try harira, and it was a revelation. The medley of ingredients created a complex, layered flavor profile. It felt like every spoonful was telling a story of Tunisian culture and history. I also noticed that Tunisian cuisine makes extensive use of seafood, given its coastal location. I had a seafood stew that was brimming with freshness, featuring a variety of fish, shrimp, and squid in a savory tomato-based broth. It showcased the country's maritime influence beautifully. Absolutely. Tunisia's coastal location greatly influences its cuisine. The abundance of fresh seafood is reflected in many dishes, like the seafood stew you mentioned. Another seafood delicacy worth trying is grilled octopus. The way Tunisians marinate and grill it to perfection, achieving a tender yet slightly charred texture, is simply divine. It's often seasoned with a mix of garlic, olive oil, and regional spices, enhancing the natural flavors of the octopus. Grilled octopus sounds amazing. I haven't had the chance to try it yet, but I'll definitely keep an eye out for it. I also noticed that Tunisian desserts are incredibly sweet and indulgent. I tried baklava, which was dripping with honey and filled with layers of crunchy nuts and pastry. The combination of sweetness and crunchiness was delightful, and it left a lingering taste of honey and nuts in my mouth. Baklava is indeed a sweet lover's dream come true. The way the layers of phyllo pastry and nuts are soaked in honey or sugar syrup creates a heavenly dessert. Another must-try dessert is yo-yos. These are small donuts coated in powdered sugar, and they are incredibly addictive. The moment you bite into one, you're greeted with a burst of sweetness and a light, airy texture. They are often enjoyed with a cup of strong Tunisian coffee, which balances out the sweetness perfectly. Yo-yos sound heavenly. It's amazing how Tunisian cuisine offers such a wide range of flavors, from savory and spicy to sweet and indulgent. It's a true testament to the country's rich culinary heritage. I also had the chance to try various types of bread, like msmin and tabauna. The bread in Tunisia is not just a side dish. It's a central part of the meal, and each type has its unique texture and flavor. Bread, indeed, holds a special place in Tunisian cuisine. Msmin, with its flaky layers, and tabauna, a rustic wood-fired bread, are both excellent choices. They are often served with makoui, which is a whole roasted lamb, a celebratory dish often enjoyed during weddings and special occasions. The aroma of the roasted lamb, combined with a freshly baked bread, 
creates an unforgettable dining experience. Mikui sounds like a grand feast, a perfect representation of Tunisian hospitality and celebration. It's incredible how food plays such a significant role in the culture and traditions of Tunisia. I also learned that the concept of sharing meals with family and friends is deeply ingrained in Tunisian society. The communal aspect of dining, where people gather around a table, share delicious food, and engage in lively conversations, creates a sense of warmth and togetherness that is truly heartwarming. Absolutely. The communal aspect of dining is a cherished tradition in Tunisia. It's not just about the food. It's about the connections, the conversations, and the shared experiences. Tunisians take pride in their culinary heritage and love sharing it with others. Whether it's a simple home-cooked meal or a grand feast, the spirit of hospitality is always present. Each dish tells a story, preserving generations of traditions and flavors. That's what makes Tunisian cuisine so special and memorable, it's not just about the taste, but also the stories and the emotions associated with each dish. I feel like I not only tasted the flavors of Tunisia, but also got a glimpse into its history and culture through its food. I'm genuinely fascinated by the way Tunisian cuisine reflects the country's diverse influences and its people's passion for culinary arts. Well said. Tunisian cuisine is a reflection of the country's vibrant history, blending various cultural influences into a harmonious culinary tapestry. It's a journey through time and tradition with every bite. I'm glad you had the opportunity to experience it and appreciate its depth. If you ever get the chance, don't miss trying Tunisian olive oil, which is renowned for its quality and is often considered some of the best in the world. It's a testament to Tunisia's rich agricultural heritage and the importance of olives in their cuisine. Thank you for the recommendation. I'll definitely make sure to try Tunisian olive oil. It's incredible how a single ingredient can have such a significant impact on a cuisine. It just goes to show the level of attention to detail and the dedication Tunisians have to their culinary traditions. I'm truly grateful for this culinary journey through Tunisian cuisine.